Hey guys, today we are in Walnut Creek, Ohio at the Der Dutchman. Now this is the buffet that started it all up here in Amish country. We've been here several times, but we've never been here for breakfast. And today we're gonna to try it out and you are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are the hours for the Der Dutchman. They are closed on Sunday and Monday, open Tuesday to Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Let's take a look at the menu here at the Der Dutchman. There is their breakfast menu from 7 to 10.30. You don't want that? Hot off the grill. Have some French toast, pancake and waffles, omelets. You can choose between two eggs, three eggs. Choose four toppings. Some side orders. Egg, bacon, sausage, hash browns. The Dutchman favorites, a farmstead breakfast, two eggs and toast, biscuits and gravy, cornmeal mush. And here it says, enjoy your favorite baked goods fresh from the oven. We make and bake that every day right here in the Der Dutchman kitchen. So here's our bakery. Some homemade toast, cinnamon roll, some donuts, cinnamon bun, big blueberry muffin and a bagel. So if you just want fruit and cereal, they have that with homemade granola, fruit cup, banana, hot cereal, beverages, they have coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate. There's your orange juice and milk. One thing really nice here at the Dirt Dutchman is they put this mealtime prayer on the menu. And they also do that at the other two establishments here in the area that they end. Let's take a look at the buffet. Scrambled eggs, breakfast casserole, home fries, potato wedges, fried mush, sausage, bacon, biscuits, sausage gravy, mushrooms, pancakes, cheese sauce, that's baked oatmeal, plenty of pastries, got some nice fresh fruit, some yogurts in there, look at that strawberry stuff. Yeah, granola here too. There's a granola and milk. This is a fruit slush. Don't think I've ever seen that mm -hmm. on a buffet. Donuts, there's your syrup, and famous here for the cinnamon rolls. All looks good. Almost missed these guys. There's miniature pancakes in there next to the oatmeal. That is cheese sauce back there for your eggs. And these are real eggs. One more look. All right, Bobby, what'd you get the first time? All right, so I got the breakfast casserole, hash browns, and mush. And mush. <laughs> Now someone asked me about the mush. I always put butter on mine, but there is syrup up there because some people do use that. 
There's the breakfast casserole. Okay. okay, so there's some potatoes in that, some bacon, cheese, and eggs. And then, if I knew that, I wouldn't have got the hash brown, but that's all right. Eh, same thing. Can't get enough potatoes. Those are good. Those are just basic hash browns. There's, There's your mush. You don't have to be the connoisseur on that because I know nothing about it. Like we said before, it's one of your favorites. It is. Hard to find in the stores. Yeah, anymore. You should be able to find it. I like mine crisp like that. How they do it. That is crispy. Mm -hmm. see. I can hear it crunching. That's really good. So you see, like I said, it's crunchy on the edge, but inside it's not. You just cut that up and fry it. All right. Tastes just like mom made. All right, guys. It's my first plate. Can't get a lot of everything because there's too many good things up there. But first thing I noticed when I was picking this bacon up, it's done just perfect. It's not, I mean, it's not overly crisp. It just, I don't look good. Good mm -hmm. pieces of bacon. Good quality. Yeah, when I saw it up there, it looked really nice. The sausage is, is done, done well. Nothing fancy about it. Mild flavor to it. Tastes, tastes good. Tastes what sausage should be for breakfast. The eggs, though, are real. That's nice. Definitely can tell the difference between the real eggs and those fake eggs you get at a lot of places. Out of potatoes, they're just basic hash browns with the cheese. I like the cheese. It takes it up a little much. I put ketchup on mine. Nice flavor of cheese. And some sausage gravy. Some Biscuits look Biscuits. really nice up there. And they did. Not a lot of people here. This is a Friday morning. We're here. They just opened a few minutes ago. Wow. There's three of these around. This is the Dirt Dutchman. There's the one in Berlin, the farmstead in the Dutch Valley. This is the one that started the buffet in Amish country. So still to this day, very popular. Still doing a great job. The gravy tastes excellent. Biscuits, nice and fluffy. Good breakfast. Hey guys, just went back up. Got a cinnamon roll and a slush. We had to get this. We'll tell you what that is here in a second. And this looks like a cake cream on, like chocolate. And I got a donut, some fruit, and this is like a white cake with some strawberries. I'm just gonna try hers. Okay. Try some of that white cake. Yeah, get you a strawberry. That's a big strawberry. So the white cake is moist. Strawberries are fresh, and then they got the cool whip and the strawberry glaze. I like it like that, but I can eat that cake just by itself and just put strawberries on it without the glaze and cool whip. But I do like it like that, but that's just another way. <laughs> fresh fruit. Okay. Look fresh. Mm -hmm. It is, it's not real hard. The can look was nice. So I got the donut. Nice little variety up there of And look how pastries. nice size that is. Isn't That's it? perfect size. Plenty. And there's your cream inside. And this is so fresh. You can just tell by picking Let's it take up. Take a look before you eat that again. Well, that's a lot of cream in mm -hmm. there. They loaded it up. Um, I believe this is maple. It had some with chocolate, but I think this is maple mm -hmm. on it. Very fresh donut. <laughs> I'm a bit into it, more of the cream just popped up. And I like the maple on it. Like I said, they had chocolate up there too, but I like the maple. Looks like I have a uh, dessert plate instead of breakfast items. I had to get chocolate. It's creamy. I think yours is chocolate cake with, is that pudding and Cool Whip? Well, it's like a cream, but this, whatever this is, it's almost, I know that's not what it is, but it's almost like a hot fudge. Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> really? Like a hot fudge, because that just, you can just see it. It's mm -hmm. real thick like a hot fudge. It is. Really rich and chocolatey. I'm going to show you guys. I mean, kind of see it. Mm -hmm. it's really rich. Now, I'm most excited about that slush because I love slushes. Cinnamon roll. Just, I'm just going to pick that one up and get messy with it. Tons of icing. Yeah, you're going to get messy with that one. Got all the cinnamon in it. Nice fluffy icing. Really fluffy icing. 
Now I'm gonna get rid of this. So I have to cut this because it's gonna be all over my face. John, I'm gonna say you must be a pro at eating those because I don't see anything. Nothing magic. Face. Nothing on there. <laughs> this looks fluffy, and it was fluffy. It's a light icing. Definitely fresh. These are popular up here. This place is known like at the uh, Dutch Valley. They're in the, and I think probably at the other Carlisle. These are on the breakfast buffets in the morning. These guys are known for their cinnamon rolls. Maybe come in sometime and take some of these home. All right. This is a fruit slush. We have never seen that on a buffet before. It's like what, seven up, pineapple, bananas. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Was that it? I think. I see pineapple. bananas in it. Yeah, I know I know there's pineapple, bananas, pineapple juice, and seven up in it. I don't know if anything else. Can you cut it? Oh, is it you just look, it's just ice. Oh wow. It's just uh like a frozen juice. Ground up frozen. There it is. Wow, that is good. Told you we should have got two of them. Well, we'll go get another one. Cause I'm gonna eat this one. It's like biting into a frozen pineapple, but which is all kind of other flavors coming out. You can taste the bananas in there. It's can like eating a slush, like an it, Italian ice almost. Scraping Italian ice. Can you ice. taste the um, Seven Up or Sierra Mist? You can taste something. Can. I'm just gonna try one more. Just can you, you guys can take a look. You can see it. You can see it's a. Mm hmm You can tell it's frozen. Yeah, it's a frozen. I mean, just frozen fruit basically. Let's just see. And that's something different. We've never seen that on a buffet before. I'm gonna tell you what it reminds me of. The Outshine bars that you buy at the, in the frozen, those fruit bars. Oh, Because when you're eating that, you're getting the big chunks of pineapple in there. You can't really see them. By looking at them, I guess right there is maybe one. Mm -hmm. I can see the bananas. But, but you, can, uh, you can really taste the bananas, but the bananas and pineapple. The 7-Up, uh, Sierra Mist, whatever's in there. I don't know if I can taste a lot of that, but it gives a little sweetness. And then try it. Yeah, I can taste um, some of the orange juice and the banana. Oh, orange juice. You that can is, taste the orange juice? Yes, that is really nice. That is, um, like you said, like a fruit bar. <laughs> so I'm going to head up there and get one of those myself because I think John's going to eat. eat that one as well. No. Yeah, I'm going to eat those, but I can't taste the orange juice as much. I can really I taste the banana and pineapple, no matter what's in there. Guys, if you come to one of these, you've got to get that. Bobby, I want you to try that chocolate. Get some of that, yeah. See what you think of that. Yeah, that, that looks like... It looks like hot fudge. It was a cake. It, it, well, there's cake in there. I don't think there's any cake left. I think I ate it all. Oh. There was cake in it. What's rich? It does taste like um, a sundae. Yeah, so I, I guess maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like a sundae cake or that something. Like a hot good, fudge sundae cake. I would rather have this one. No, well, I'd rather have this slush right here more than any of that stuff. All right, let's look at the receipt here at the Dirt Dutchman in Walnut Creek, Ohio. Bobby's Coffee, $2.89. Two buffets at $11.99 each. Grand total, $28.75. On your way out, you can always stop off, take you something home. There's some fry pies, chocolate chip cookies. There's the cinnamon rolls, Dutch cherry, angel food cake, pecan rolls. There's a rhubarb pie, Bobby. And strawberry. And don't forget about the peanut butter. A nice thing about the Der Dutchman is directly across the street is Carlisle Gifts. Tell them about it, Bobby. Yeah, this is a very nice store. There's some jewelry in here. They have some ladies' clothes, purses. They have a lot of nice things at Christmas time and in the fall. A lot of little knickknacks and different. Uh, you can tell upstairs there's some bedding and things. It's nice to go in and look around, see some different things. And they used to have some really nice bath bombs. They did. I love them. They look like little 
pastries. They look like little cakes and stuff that you could put in your bathroom. And um, they put bacon in those ones. We haven't seen them in there. And there's another shop right next to it. And on down from here, you have the Carlisle. But on the other side of the Carlisle is the chocolate store. So you can spend a few hours in this area. Well, we just left the Der Dutchman. What did you think about it, Bobby? Well, I wanted to give a shout out to our waitress, Madison. She did a great job filling the coffee up and taking our plates after we we get done with one. When we came back to the table, they were gone. Um, it was a nice buffet. There was plenty to choose from up there. I got the casserole with the eggs and potatoes, cheese and bacon in it. Of course, I had to get the mush with the butter. And I was telling John, that one really tasted like what my mom did when I was growing up. Then we were able to get some of the desserts. I got the donut that was very fresh with the maple icing on it. So plenty to eat there and the fruit was very fresh. The eggs, those are real eggs, not the fake ones. Plenty of bacon, sausage was done well. The cinnamon rolls, if you guys come here and you don't want to eat the buffet, just stop in at the bakery and take some of those home. But the thing I like the best might have been that slush. That frozen slush, we've never seen that on a buffet. It's all the orange juice and the pineapple and the bananas. That was unreal. They could stop here just to try that. So you like that better than the cinnamon roll? Well, about the same. <laughs> you know, I, same. you guys all know, I, this, it was just so unique. That was really refreshing for breakfast. It was. Uh, the whole staff in there was very friendly. We talked to a couple of them when we were asking about what was in that slush. And uh, very clean. I wanted to say it was nice meeting Richard and Lori. And I just hope you have a good time while you're here on your trip. And $11.99 is all that buffet is. It's definitely worth that. And we got here at, what, about 7.30? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too busy. Now the parking lot is packed. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the, the building. building. Hey guys, we were just leaving the Dirt Dutchman and we ran into some subscribers. Tell us your names and where you're from. Richard and Lori, we're from Wallen, West Virginia. And what did you think about the meal in here today? Did you guys enjoy it? Yes, it was excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you and you have a great day.